Assalamu alaikum, welcome to Deep Blue's channel. This is uh, Muhammad Kashaf from Dubai. I hope you all are well and alhamdulillah I'm fine. First of all, I'd like to thank all of you for uh, giving an amazing support to my channel and uh, enjoying my videos. Also, I'd like to thank to all of those candidates uh, who had an uh, amazing experience of uh, doing fun dive with me in Dubai and uh, most of them they have told me that uh, they are planning to sign up for an open water diver license uh, which is a great news for me that uh, that their journey it's a kind of uh, starting from uh, having a fun dive with me so, so apart from that i like to share a proud moment for me which is uh, i've received my advanced level open water diver license and now i am a member of emirates diving association as well I'm really, uh, really happy for it, and really grateful to Allah, uh, who has blessed me with this, uh, with this achievement. And today's video, it is all about answering your questions, which you have uh, asked me by uh, in the in the comment section in my previous videos, or uh, by meeting with me physically. So what I've done, I have picked ten best questions uh, from all of those, and uh, I'm going to answer all of all of those for you today. All right. So let's go for it. So the first question is why I dive? I have three reasons to answer this question. The first reason is uh, diving it gives me a sense of freedom. Because when I'm underwater, I don't have any worry to respond to any emails. Uh, I'm away from social media. There is no worry about respond to respond any phone calls. It is a kind of yourself and uh, the beautiful underwater. The second reason is seawater. It is really beneficial for your health because uh, seawater it is uh, enriched in magnesium, which uh, gives you a sense of relaxation. If you have any uh, body ache, any localized body ache, it gives it uh, cures for that, and um, it is really good for your skin as well. And the third uh, reason to me is uh, I really love to explore unseen and uh, unexplored areas. So diving gives you an opportunity to explore those unseen areas in the form of uh, exploring to any shipwreck. Uh, which most of the people have not seen and uh, the beautiful underwater plantation and how can I forget about the gorgeous creatures of the underwater world so all of these opportunities you get when you dive so these are the basically three reasons to me uh, for diving question number two what does paddy means and what do we mean by scuba paddy is an abbreviation of professional association of diving instructors it is an international body which was founded in 1966. This organization is providing licenses to all the diving centers and the uh, and the new divers or all of those divers who are progressing in their diving career with respect to the advanced level courses as well. SCUBA is an abbreviation of self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. It is basically the complete SCUBA gear which you see that uh, all the divers are wearing. Okay, so the third question was how a non-swimmer uh, can dive in an open sea. Here I want to clarify first that non-swimmers they are diving in an open sea uh, up to uh, really shallow depths that is um, four to six meters maximum and those non-swimmers they are under continuous and close supervision of licensed divers and diving instructors. Okay, so the next question is uh, how low the water temperature goes when we are diving in the water and uh, what is the best time to dive see i'm based in uae so the water temperature lowers down up to 21 to 22 degrees celsius in celsius in winters but if you are diving in the western countries the temperature lowers down to 8 degrees to 10 degrees so uh, it depends on the location where you're diving the best time to dive it's early in the morning like around 8 30 to 9 a.m uh, a diver should start his dive because the sun rays it penetrates into the water and gives you a, a clear view in the water 
so the best time to dive it is early morning right so the fifth question was what if the oxygen a diver is breathing underwater will get finished i want to clarify to all of you that divers are not breathing just oxygen underwater air is comprised of 21 percent of oxygen and 78 to 79 percent of nitrogen so the same content of air a diver is breathing underwater the only difference is that air it is in compressed form and is stored in the scuba tank okay now the question remains that what if that air will get finished divers are skilled and they are uh, pretty much trained to monitor their amount of uh, air remaining in their scuba tank through a uh, spg spg is basically a submersible pressure gauge which every diver has as a part of their uh, scuba gear and they are using it time to time to monitor the amount of air remaining in their scuba tank next question is <clears throat> what is the duration of a scuba dive a logical answer to this question uh, could be it depends on how much air it is remaining in your uh, scuba tank but there are several other factors which determines the duration of your dive underwater for example an open water diver uh, can dive maximum up to 45 to 50 minutes or the air which is remaining up to 50 bars in his uh, scuba tank question number seven the question number seven was what are the precautions a uh, person should uh, should take care of before diving see uh, health wise you should not have any kind of fever you should not have any kind of sinuses problem you should not have any uh, air blockage nose blockage because uh, the moment you are your depth is changing under the water you are feeling a pressure on your eardrums which must be clear uh, there is a way there is a skill which we learn uh, during the diving course that how to clear your uh, eardrums if you are feeling water pressure there and apart from that diet wise uh, you should you should take a good meal before diving it should be enriched in protein and carbs so that you have enough energy to complete your dive uh, properly question number eight is what if the shark will eat us or any other dangerous creature will attack on us uh, if you are doing a scuba diving so i want to clarify to all of you that scuba divers are kind of uh, weirdo creatures to sharks because we are creating a lot of bubbles and we are uh, making a lot of sound when we are breathing underwater sharks do not bother to come near to us but yes if you are messing up with any kind of sea creature of course uh, uh, it will uh, turn on the defensive mode and for sure it will come, with, uh, come for you so this is one of the uh, basic rule of scuba diving that when we are underwater we we uh, really take care of the environment surrounding uh, around us we don't hit we don't uh, touch any kind of creature we don't mess up with any shipwreck or touch anything because most of the beautiful plants or the coral reefs it it takes a really heck of the years to grow and uh, just because of uh, our uh, non-serious attitude it can damage it so we don't touch anything we just dive in the middle of the ocean without messing up with anything okay so guys the second last question for today is uh, you go to a place called diving center what is that diving center is an uh, institution authorized by paddy all around the world these diving centers they are having uh, courses for non-divers these diving uh, diving centers they provide licenses once you complete the diving uh, course a particular diving course and diving instructors they take the diving crew to the middle of the ocean and they take care of them uh, during the dive and it is their responsibility that all the divers reach back to the diving center after their particular dive safely diving center has their own uh, diving shops as well where you can um, visit and buy diving equipments so in a nutshell this is all about a diving center guys the final question for today is uh, how a person can start their diving career in my opinion first you should assess yourself 
that are you comfortable under water can you swim up to 5200 meters easily i am not asking you to be a gold medalist olympic swimmer you have to be comfortably swim up to 5200 meters and you should be comfortable under water once you are okay with that you should contact any diving center in your uh, in your city wherever you are living so what they will do they will uh, register you for an open water diver course in that course first you have to complete the e-learning on paddy website and score uh, more than 75 percent so once you have gone through all the theory and uh, pass your exam you have to notify to the diving center and they will verify your score after verification of the score they will register you for the pool sessions in that pool sessions in those pool sessions you will learn uh, certain skills which you have to perform and which are really 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 necessary that you should be really good in that because uh, those skills part uh, plays a vital role in, in in making you a skillful, a skillful diver so those after learning those skills you have to uh, perform those skills in an open sea so you will be going through around five dives like two dives in the pool and three dives in an open sea so once you are uh, once you will pass the practical exam uh, by performing all of those skills in an open sea water then uh, you will receive uh, the open water diver license so once you will receive that license you can dive anywhere in the world uh, of course not alone but with your dive body okay guys i hope i have answered all of your questions and um, uh, inshallah we'll meet soon with an, another amazing video of open sea diving if you have any questions uh, please uh, don't hesitate to comment in the comment section and uh, remember me in your prayers take care bye bye